In this tutorial, we show you how to use the full color spectrum in Blender. Uh, we also show you how to generate um, the color randomly. And we show you how to create two different types of stylized holograms. And this is just an example of the, of the animation. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's use the full color spectrum in Blender. So select your default cube, X delete, shift A mesh, and we're gonna use a plane, press S20. Once you've done that, let's give it a quick material, new, and let's change it for principal BSDF to glossy and make it shine at 0.2 should be perfect. Go to your world settings and go to HDR Haven to download an environmental texture. And then once you've downloaded it, find it and load it into the scene and I just like to have it for the reflections go to your render settings and make sure you got screen space reflection turn on bloom and ambient occlusion it will help and then change to your render settings over here so we can see if everything is working as it should next thing you want to do is click on your light source obviously we just need to wait for the scene to load there we go click on your light source and object data products for your light source maybe change it to sun and Give it a slightly warmer color or not so warm color, a blue. And then select this over here, which we're gonna call floor. Double click to rename it, F-L-O-O-R. And then press Shift A Mesh Plane S10. Click GZ10. Now with this selected, we Perhaps we must press S10. Pardon me. Uh, G Z10. So make it lift it up to 20. So it's definitely out of the frame, which is quite important. And select your light source and just uh, press R and make sure that the shadow of this isn't showing on the surface, which it isn't now. All right, now we can select this top piece here. Go to your particle settings, click new. And we're gonna put this on 250. One, 200, let's make our animation end at 200. 50 is fine. And now we need to add objects for this. Let's create a new collection, which we're gonna call emission objects. These are the objects that will be emitted. Press shift A, mesh. And we're gonna make use of a monkey. Suzanne, right click shade smooth. Go to materials, add a material. Once you've added a material, lift up here, click over here, click on shader, rename this to monkey hollow. All right, so, this is, so the first thing we wanna do is select this principal BSDF deleted, shift A, shader, mix shader, connect this to the surface, shift A, shader, transparent, connect this to the bottom to make sure transparency is there shift a shader and then make use of emission and connect this over here and finally we have to press shift a in the search bar we type in layer and click layer weight and connect the facing to the factor and then go to your material settings in settings under blend mode we can choose alpha blend um, and put this on 0 0.9 once you've done that if we zoom in Right click shade smooth and also give Suzanne some subdivisions on at least two and she is looking good however um, I'm gonna go for a slightly different style yeah instead of the hologram general hologram effect I'm gonna go for a cartoon hollow effect which would be alpha clip which I quite like and give this emission strength let's try 30 and then let's press the scroll up here, press G, X, and let's bring it over here. Control A, apply all, right click, set origin to geometry. Now that we've done that, we can find another object, shift A mesh, and we're gonna make use of a torus. Right click, shade smooth, modifier, add modifier, subdivision surface modifier, and press GX, click new, and just to save some time, we can click on the monkey head, 
and currently this is where the fun begins so now we want to give this the full color spectrum so let's do that with the emission over here so we have to press shift a converter color ramp connect the color ramp to the color over here and to give this the full color spectrum we need to change from rgb to hsv click on black and then click over here and make sure the s v and a are all set to one with the h is set to zero and change this to far click on the white and make sure the sva is all set to one and just like that we have the full color spectrum now if you want this to emit a different color each time that's the easy part we just press shift a in the search bar type in object and use object info and connect the random into the object info now that you've done that you can select all of this and press Control c click on this over here select the principal bsdf x delete it then Control v to paste what we had on the other one and connect this over here now it doesn't look the same yet because we have to go to our material settings and change this from blender to alpha blend if we want it the same style but in this case i'm going to go with uh, the alpha blend instead of the alpha clip because i don't know i kind of like that just personal preference and obviously i'm going to press uh, Control a apply all right click set origin to geometry i'm going to click the surface Control a alpha right click set origin to geometry all right now that we've set we can click this plane over here which is our emitter and go to the render settings change from halo to collection and choose collection emission objects and now we just want to go down here click over here and click on timeline and we need to zoom in a little bit press spacebar pause you can see all these small things that you can barely see let's increase the scale to one uh, everything is the same size now but let's increase the randomness factor to one as well or perhaps 0 0.5 there we go so some are full size some aren't that's interesting all right The last thing we can do before we render the scene is select this top plane of here which everything is emitting from and give this a material. But this time we will delete principled BSDF, press shift A and we will use a shader known as transparent BSDF and we'll connect this to the surface. And now it won't be in our scene. There we go. It's as easy as that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.